Okay, uh, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time uh, here. So today is uh, Sunday, November 6th, and I'm going to film outside today. You see the pond behind my house, and my geese are like going crazy over there. Uh, yeah, it's like 74 degrees out today, so pretty warm. I think the temperature is going to drop tomorrow. The daylight savings time, the end of that yesterday. So it'll be dark here in another couple hours. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So 4.30 is supposed to be sunset. Uh, so I thought I would do an update on the uh, hyenal hernia surgery with Nissan fund duplication that I had done. Uh, tomorrow would be three weeks uh, since I had the surgery. Uh, things are going pretty well. I'm off the you know the clear li the clear diet liquid diet and then the all liquid diet. So now I'm on soft foods until uh, roughly the last week in December, uh, just before Christmas. I should be off of that. Uh, I had my first post surgery appointment with my surgeon uh, a couple weeks ago. I think it was a week after surgery I had that. So I got another appointment coming up at the end of uh, well the third week in uh, November I think it's two days after Thanksgiving so right now I'm on the soft food diet uh, which is pretty good is you know, a lot of stuff I can eat a lot of stuff I still can't eat I can't eat like bread and you know any you know chips or dur tur uh, Doritos or any tacos anything that has like a rough edge to it I can't eat but you know I'm finding it's pretty easy you know to find soft food stuff to eat uh, I'm still under a activity restriction which I think is probably the hardest thing for me right now because I have so much stuff that I need to get done around here before it actually actual winter hits uh, I cut a couple trees down that were well actually they fell down and I cut them down the rest of the way before I went into surgery uh, I was hoping to get those all chopped up and uh, you know redone and uh, put up but that didn't happen uh, I got a wood chipper but it, they screwed up with the warranty so I had to bring it back and so I'm gonna have to get another one you know probably uh, beginning of January or something like that but I have lawns need to be mowed here you know leaves have to be picked up there's still a bunch of brush you see if you can see it uh, over that way uh, like this side of the barn right here needs to be redone we, we were gonna try to do that before winter there's a whole pile of brush from the trees that came down let's uh let's take a walk over there and i'll show you you can hear my geese going out there's my geese over there like all this brush here was going to be all kind of done so let's uh go over this way okay so you can see a big pile of brush over here uh you know there's some here I had to replace the, uh, let me see if I can get over here without breaking my neck. So these are the two trees that came down over here. The coal bin, I had to put a new top on it. Both sections of that top are all rotted, but this is what's left of those two trees. This tree here is probably gonna come down this winter. Uh, I just I just have that feeling but at least we got the trees away from this back part of the barn and garage so now that can get at least get some sun to it to dry it out this really needs to be vinyl sided over here we'll probably try to get that done in the spring but you can see some of the logs over here that were left over there's all kinds of leaves over here that are going to be picked up so there's just you know a ton of stuff just a ton of stuff that I got to get done that I can't do because I can't lift over five pounds. Uh, I'm going to try to get out on the lawn tractor tomorrow, maybe to try to get some of those leaves mulched up. I think I'll be all right if I do that. Not really lifting any kind of weights, but I do want to get that done. But uh, let's go back over to the other side. It's my dogs out here. So we had all this that we cut, we tried to get in the uh, spring. We're gonna have to tackle that again because I really want all this cleared out. Okay, so uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with that type of surgery, uh, it was robotic laparoscopic 
So in my stomach, I really only have six small incisions. They're maybe a half inch long. Uh, they're pretty much healed up now. I mean, there's, you know, they're scabbing over, but they're pretty much healed up. They did put stitches in there, and at first I did have some reaction to the stitches, and I had to put some uh, antibiotic stuff, Neosporin, I think we put on there, and covered them up. And then after a couple days, that cleared up. Uh, I am still getting a little bit of heartburn, depending on what I eat. Uh, I was thinking that maybe the caffeine in the coffee was kind of doing it, so I switched to decaf. That still kind of did it. So it gave me a little bit of heartburn. So I'm thinking I might have to switch to tea. Although I had decaf coffee this morning and I haven't had heartburn all day. Uh, I'm pretty much off of the famotidine. I've taken that, I think, three times in the last three weeks. Uh, I'm supposed to, uh, originally I was taking it in the morning and I was taking it at night. But that, uh, most of the heartburn is gone. So I'm hoping that, you know, eventually I'll be able to go off completely off the famotidine I don't know that my heartburn is going to completely go away. I don't really think this surgery was meant to do that. It was mainly to cause, stop causing the acid reflux, which I haven't had since. So I haven't had any problems sleeping, no matter what side I want to sleep on. I haven't had any kind of acid reflux go back up into my throat, into my sinuses. So that's a plus for me. Uh, the problem that I'm facing with any kind of diet that I'm on is that I'm on a salt restriction too because I have uh, stage 3A kidney disease. So I'm kind of on that. You know, if I could, if I didn't have to deal with that, I could pretty much eat anything that's soft. But now I now only what am I on the soft diet? I have to look at stuff that's you know low in sodium or no sodium at all. There's plenty of stuff out there, but I just wish there was more more of it anyway. So. All right, so I just thought I'd give you this quick update uh, for people that want to go through this surgery or, you know, to, for people that have already had it to see what their same reaction is. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me some comments below. Were you thinking about having this type of surgery? Uh, you know, do you have acid reflux? Do you have heartburn? Have you been thinking about getting the uh, Nissan Fun duplication where they wrap the top part of your stomach around your esophagus or they sew that sphincter on your diaphragm? Um, you know, one day in the hospital for me and I was home, uh, like I said, the, the hardest thing for me right now is just the activity restriction. You know, I go out to the store and uh, with my wife and she has to handle these 50 pound bags of dog food and people kind of give me dirty looks because I'm not helping her, but I, there's nothing I can do. She won't let me do it anyway, even if I wanted to. Uh, she won't let me even carry so much as a gallon of milk because I don't, she doesn't want me to end up back at the hospital tearing the stitches that are in my esophagus right now. Uh, I will say one thing, I, I really have to relearn the way I eat. Uh, I have to make sure that I chew my food really good and I eat slow because sometimes it'll, it feels like it's backing up in the lower part of my esophagus. It's not choking me and I can breathe fine, but I can feel it's like heavy in there and then sometimes it hurts when it's trying to go past that point where they stitched uh, you know, my, the esophagus together, that valve, and so I have to drink a lot. Uh, what I'm eating right now. So I'm hoping that kind of goes away. I don't know that it will, uh, but it's not really an issue. I just have to relearn because uh, I, I was used to always never really drinking when I ate, you know, once in a while, but now basically every time I take a bite of food, I got to take something to drink with it to help it go down. So hopefully after this eight weeks is over with, um, that'll, that'll get better. So again, thanks for uh, taking some time out of your day to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, and I will see you in the next video.